Hi, everyone. I'm Shadi, CEO and co-founder of Ember Medical. And what you are about to see happens in the United States every 90 seconds. This is sudden cardiac arrest. It can happen to anyone, anywhere, regardless of their age. I lost my best friend Ehab to cardiac arrest when we were 17 years old, and I'm pretty sure many families had similar experiences. That's what drove me and my co-founder, who is also a cardiologist, to tackle this problem that affects 350,000 Americans who suffer a cardiac arrest every single year. And let me share with you some facts. Five minutes is all what a cardiac arrest victim has to receive CPR and defibrillation before irreversible brain damage starts occurring. Sadly, ambulance response times in the United States is between 8 to 15 minutes which is extremely slow, resulting in the devastating 10% survival rate. But there is hope. One in every five Americans are CPR trained. If they only knew that their help is needed just around the corner or a couple floors down, they can deliver CPR and defibrillation well before the ambulance arrives. All that is needed is to alert them, and that's what we have created. By leveraging the geolocation and crowdsourcing technologies found in all our smartphones, we can connect these 60 million trained Americans in real time to nearby victims. We can reduce response times to less than five minutes and become the safety net for the 92 million Americans with cardiovascular diseases and high risk of cardiac arrest. In the next video, I'll show you how we do it. Once a cardiac arrest occurs, and our system is alerted, we simultaneously send the location of the victim to 911 and nearby medics. And when a medic responds, he or she is guided through in-app navigation to the location of the victim. And when the medic arrives, the victim is checked and the medic starts CPR immediately until the ambulance reaches the scene. In this video, we only showed one way to alert our system, which is through an app. But there's other ways by shouting the voice command Amber help to your phone, that will do it. And we are working on integrating with smart wearables to automatically detect cardiac arrest and alert our platform. Moreover, 911 system can automatically alert our platform when they receive a call through uh, that involves cardiac arrest. Then our medics can respond even if the patient is not on our network. We believe that this integration will drive a fast adoption for Ember platform. We started integrating with San Mateo County, and once we perfect it, we will go to other regions. With the same tools that we already created, we can actually respond to other time-sensitive emergencies. We are building a kit equipped with the necessary medical tools to allow our medics to respond to opioid overdose, hypoglycemia, and anaphylactic shocks. That will add an estimate of 1 million cases to respond to every year, expanding our total available market and taking us one step further to our grand vision of becoming the one go-to medical emergency platform. We have a clear business model. Every time a medic responds, Amber pays them $500, the victims pay nothing, and we get our income from health insurers who pay us $5 per month per user. Selling to insurance is not easy, but through our talks with Kaiser, Humana, and Alliance, they were excited about our platform because we will make them appeal more to their insured population, and also we will save them a lot of money. By stabilizing the victims before permanent damage occurs, we can save hundreds of thousands of dollars that would have been wasted in prolonged hospitalization otherwise. And to address the medical liability issue, we have a medical malpractice insurance in place. And due to the low rate of lawsuits against medics responding to time-sensitive emergencies, it only costs us $2,000 per year to cover 100,000 responses. We launched our app three weeks ago, and now we have 423 medics already registered on our platform and ready to save lives. 
Through our partnership with the American Nursing Association and national recruiters, we are expanding our medics network. And with ASTAR, we are making our first international life pilot in Singapore. But our most exciting partnership is with Qatar Foundation to deploy the Amber platform around World Cup 2022. Qatar is a small country with a population of 2.6 million people, and they're expanding 3 million excited soccer fans to pour into their country in 2022 which will strain their medical emergency system significantly. They are excited to implement our platform to ensure the safety of their fans. Behind, behind our vision, there is a strong multidisciplinary team. I have an engineering background and experience in managing startups. My two co-founders, Mo and Michael, are both cardiologists with degrees from Johns Hopkins and the Cleveland Clinic. Our software team has 15 plus years of experience, and our marketing team is working hard to expand our reach. Our advisor, Dr. Nuno Taligani, professor of emergency medicine at Stanford, was a key person in our communication with 911. Markita Huskova, the executive director of the American Nursing Association here in California, helped us a lot with recruiting medics, and Dr. Myron Weisfeld, a world-renowned cardiologist who led the efforts in the nation to make the defibrillators widely available, is helping us to do the same with the Ember platform. Through our time in IndieBio, we achieved many things. We built and released our apps, we nailed our legal, and we made great partnerships. We are raising now $1 million seed round, so that in the next 18 months, we can expand our medics network to more than 10,000 medics. We can enable the time-sensitive emergencies response and complete our integration with 911 through all the Bay Area. I would like to invite you all to join our mission in leading a future where immediate help is available to you and your loved ones when you need it the most. Thank you.